Hola, como estas? Hi, how are you tonight? I'm good. How are you feeling? Good. So, yeah, let's, uh, we can get right into it. Uh, you can start by just giving your name and the name of your business. My name is Renee, and the name of my business is Ardent Nursing and Home Care of Texas. Nice. How long have you been in business? For almost a year now in August. Okay. How long have you been, uh, you know, actively working to build the business credit? Oh, well, since I'll say around February of this year. February just year. Okay. Yes. When did you uh, come across to hear about Trey Capital? It was in the later, later in the month of April of this year. Okay. And uh, what services did you, uh, did you obtain working with Trey Capital? I've obtained uh, the business credit service. Business credit. I've obtained, yes. Okay. You um, actually had a business uh, created by Trey Capital as well, right? Yes, that's okay. that's what I'm referring to. Okay. So Trey Capital both established your business and I believe your business trust or or private trust as well as uh the business credit development for that entity. That's yes. Okay. Now when did the business credit development uh portion of it start? It was the end of April end of april and when did you when did you actually see uh re the results from that i saw the results in june this month okay but around the middle of june around the middle of june okay mm -hmm. what was your uh what was your business credit uh profile looking like before the uh the initial start well i had a duns and bradstreet number but I, I didn't have the Equifax or Experian credit score. So since working with Trade Capital, I now have a Equifax and Experian credit score. And within a month's time. Within a month's time. So, uh, so you're saying you had zero Experian and zero uh, Equifax business credit? Yes, that's correct. Okay. You also have international too, right? Yes, I do. Okay. What's your, uh, so what are your scores looking like? Well, for Equifax, I have a 371 and for Experian, I have a 50. Okay. 50. Um, so now on your, on your Experian credit report, you don't see any actual, uh, trade references or any type of vending accounts on that profile, right? Not at the moment. Okay. So, uh, that is geared off of the whole, uh, reporting to the international credit bureaus. So what the, what the credit bureaus are doing is they feed off each other. So they, they share information, they share data and, um, that is the reason why we recommend a lot of our a lot of our people to um, invest into the international side uh, because of the the uh, the possibility possible benefits that it can uh, or beneficial effects it can have on your uh, experience credit report. So as we can see, just off of with no credit references at all, or uh, or vendor accounts, net thirties, net sixties, net nineties no credit of any sort actually on the report is still, it still increased our score from a zero to 50 out of a hundred just off of that. So that, so that means, <laughs> yep. So that's a strong reference needless to say. So yes. what, what's your, what's your, what's your next, uh, what's your next goals uh, moving forward? My next goal moving forward is to start, another business but the business the new business will be related to my first business just in a different department a, di a different sector gotcha okay yeah i see you have you have a lot of you have a you have a nice game plan there uh 
a lot of different structures. Uh, I think you're doing a lot of stuff, Dylan, to to help build that that family structure and to sustain yes. that family wealth. Yes, that's my plan. What would you? So, what did you? So, would you recommend? Would you recommend trade capital to to anyone else? I most definitely will. Um, the service is honest, straight to the point, and built individualized to your needs according to your business. No BS, no gimmicks, transparency, mm-hmm. straight to the That's point. That's correct. That's true. That's correct. And um, we value each and each and each and every person, you know, individually. Like I know everybody by name. Uh, and we, I, you know, we work one on one, hand in hand with you, with each individual person. It's more of a personalized uh-huh. service. Mm-hmm. So, uh, yes, right. I uh, definitely, it definitely was a pleasure. It is a pleasure working with you, and uh, it's my pleasure to help see your business and your business goals to reaching reaching those levels of, of success that you're looking for. Okay, I just wanted to add that. Um, and I want to also thank you for setting up my, my family trust for me. And that just this past week, I opened up a bank account with my family trust with no problem at all. It, right. And what I, it, I went in there. I'm sorry. What's what, and what state are you in? Texas. Texas. Okay. You say no problems, huh? No problem at all. Okay. Nice. Uh, you know what? Uh, I'm glad to hear that because a lot of, uh, you know, a lot of people, they, they press, they press the button on getting certain, uh, some of these things done. Cause some people don't even know, you know, business is one thing, but uh, a lot of people don't, don't understand the importance of establishing, you know, you know, the trust or the business trust and things of that fashion, because I don't know, maybe it's just, it's not an immediate, immediate gratification or, or what, I don't know, but, uh, for those that do understand the importance of it, you know they don't waste any time, and they don't they don't hesitate to take to take the things to the next level. You know, I'm glad you went straight ahead when you got that that business. I mean that bank account, and uh, so you can start leveraging that as well uh, in connection with your other you know business endeavors. That's right, and thank you for all you're doing. It's greatly appreciated. Thank you. So I'll speak to you soon. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.